Welcome everyone to episode 67 of season 3 of Imperial Galactic Survival Project Eden. The last episode we uh, finished off the Xerax presence in this planetary system. Islos and its two moons are now Xerax free. And it's almost time to be moving on to the another planetary system. Let's take a look at what we have in the neighborhood. We have Rixetis. It's a snow planet without a breathable atmosphere. Doesn't sound like much fun, does it? Uh, let's see, there's Ilyava, Pummeled Desert. It's breathable. It's pretty hot. It has two moons on it, just like, uh, all these other planets. Uh, Ferrex, dead planet. Doesn't sound like there's much interesting over there. Um, there is a space station. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Project Eden storyline goes through that. There's this other space station out here, way out on the outer rim, which is probably the same. But then there's ROAS, and that is directly linked to Vanita. It's a jungle planet. It's breathable. It's hard. Uh, my guess is it's crawling with Xerox and tough Xerox at that. Probably those level 10 monster drones and lots of POI. So that might be an interesting place to go. Um, if it is too much for our little SV to handle, we can always back out. But uh, I think that's what we'll be checking out. Um, next. Uh, let's see, there's this other planet, Stormy Desert. It's not breathable. Reduced. POI detector range. Oh, that doesn't sound like any fun. And there is this little planet. It's another ocean planet. Uh, we definitely will be checking that out also. Because <coughs> uh, our home planet here, Benita, is an ocean planet. But that's as may be. Let's take a look at our... Why do I keep hitting F5 instead of F4? Look at our... Ammo situation. Uh, this is probably enough for the time being because we're just going to be on our way home here. Um, we're going to stop off at that uh, alien POI that's uh, on our map in space before we head home. Uh, this stuff should be enough to handle that. Um, I have to think about what I want to take with me back home to Venita before we make our trip out to 
that other planet. What we'll be needing. Um, and I think we'll take... Mm, yeah, we'll take that much raw pentaxid. We'll take this refined pentaxid. Take our spare weapons. Let's see, anything else we need here? Don't need any ingots. There's plenty of that back on Vanita. Hmm. All the usual bits and bobs. Uh, I'll take some of this fuel with me. I don't think I need to take any food. If I ever come back here, I need to uh, deconstruct that stuff. I'll give a ton of zest cozy in the restroom. Take some meds with me. That is an alien POI. That uh, we're going to be looking at. Might be wise to take some meds. Ooh, anti parasit pills, yeah. That'll be good. I'll take a couple of these. Yeah, I got a ton of that. I don't need that, so. Any of the optum optronic thingies? These are the relatively rare items. I have room for them. I know I have a bunch of them in storage back on Venita. Oh, good. The wind just finally stopped. fuel. Let's see any more optronic stuff. No. All right. That looks good. I've got plenty of ammo. My armor is in good shape. Oh, that sound is the sound of a heat wave. Okay. 
thought maybe there were drones passing by. Then I remembered the Xerox are gone. Alright. Let's check out that alien POI in orbit. And then head home to Vanita. Coming up on the Alien Raider Outpost. start shooting at me pretty soon. Keep an eye out for any drones. This place looks similar to one we already did. Let's see if I can get these get within range here before I get killed. Sort of similar to one of those outposts that we hit in the asteroid field. Let's see, is there another laser over here? little guns one on top there got to be one under here too matter it's a very small POI might just be worth the while to go in and say hi it, it does look a little different Quite a few spawners. Mm -hmm. Spawners all around the outside. Got a few around back here. Here. 
Yeah, this does look just like that other one. There should be should be a spawner in here. There was a large <clears throat> dining area down here. Ooh, did you see that guy run away? Yeah, this place is just slightly different than that other one. Oh, hello. Core's right there. Hello. Ooh, it's a Polaris, a Polaris prisoner. And he will trade. I could sell stuff to him, but I, I don't want to sell stuff to him. these other groaners. Grumbling and grumbling. Let's see if there are any 
other alien containers back here. Just regular containers. Sitting on the toilet? No. Okay, good. Let's go upstairs. Let's see who's hanging around. Okay. Shouldn't have been looking out that window. is <clears throat> taken care of. Get rid of that mark. All right. Now to the business at hand. Let's get back home to Venita and uh, stock up on what we're going to need to go to Roaz. So, back to Venita. Our paradise home. thought that island looked familiar. planet I'm gonna put this stuff away I'll be right back all right everything's put away um, our moon is setting I think that's enough for today. Um, the next episode, I'm going to decide whether or not I want to use the uh, <coughs> hauler there 
the um, barge to get my ship to Roaz. Out here. Uh, let's see, it's 17.7. Uh, I think we're limited to 15 or 16 with just the SV. But I could also go back to Islos and then to Roaz. Um, which is what I think I'll do. Because I can leave the, the barge here on Venita and uh, just use the SV. Uh, that's supposed to be a hard planet, which means I may have to come in shooting right off the bat. And uh, the barge is unarmed. But our little uh, truckster seems to handle most stuff pretty well. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. But uh, I'll have to get together our uh, little um, base start kit put into the uh, truckster so we'll be able to start a base as soon as possible and have some place to come home to on ROAS to um, store stuff as we continue our vendetta against the Xerax. In any case, that's all for today. As always, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again tomorrow.